Hey everyone, it's finally here. It's time to travel. We're going to Europe. We've got someone that's coming with us as well. Let's get on the road and we're going to tell you more. Hi, we have waited so long for this road trip and it is finally here and we are on the road. Woo! We're still in this country though. So, tell them where we're going, right, tell them where right, we're going. Right, right, right. Calm yourself. I'm so calm, at the calm. minute we're still in the UK but we're going to the Euro Tunnel. We're going over to France. Then we're going to Italy, we're going to Slovenia, we're going to Austria. We're going to take a little visit into Switzerland again because we really enjoyed it last time. And maybe somewhere else, but you're going to have to wait till we go there. Well, we'll catch up with you in a couple of hours because we are on our way to a service station and we're definitely going to get Burger King because it's tradition we have oh, yeah. to do it. And then we might show you who's come with us. Hmm. Oh, right, we're here at the first service station. Right. We're with, give us a clue, what's your favourite food? Cake. It's Dave everybody! Dave is actually coming on the first sort of like, well you've got two weeks over in Europe but you're doing a week with us because you're going to take a week coming yeah. back home so, Germany. yeah that he's going to all these different places but we're doing France, Italy, Italy, Slovenia, Slovenia so there we go. Right so we've just pulled over at this service station, I've no idea where we are and all the way down here, I'm thinking, I've never been this way before. From, 30 miles from 25. That's where we are. Now we Tod are... Toddington Services. Right, we are very early as well. Now we have set up early. The Euro Tunnel is later on, late early evening. I think we'll probably try and chance uh, a quick sort of like, try and get on a couple of hours before us. Brooke's just been telling me, <laughs> like, let's do it. But last time we came here, we actually went on five hours early. They just let us on, they didn't even yeah. say anything, so. Good, good now, job. When we get into France, we're only travelling for half an hour because we're staying in the air, so if we can get over earlier, then it'd be ideal. So, so if you've not met Dave before, he's got a Volkswagen Transporter and he's been on many trips with us before, so... Right, what we need to do, I think, is probably spend about maybe an hour here, because yeah. like I said, we're not far from where uh, we need to go, so go to the service station. So we're just sat in traffic, uh, we're not far now, we're just over an no, hour away. Well, it's added 50 minutes onto our journey, yeah. which so, is why we set off really early. So what we've been doing, been on the radios and we've just been talking uh, to Dave and we're just saying one of the places that we're going to go and visit was, what's it called? Buick Seal in Champagne. Right, now we have been there before but we've decided, because um, the day after we're going into the French Alps and we're staying at a ski resort. Now going to the ski resort we know that there's a lot of hikes and there's a lot of walks and things so we're thinking that we maybe we like to stay there for two there days before and we really liked it didn't we but yeah but we, we didn't, didn't do really a lot of exploring walk, walking and exploring so we think it'd be good to go back there yeah spend a couple of days there we're at the next service station and this service station is literally just minutes away from the euro tunnel and quite early oh that hiding over there Tell you what, last time we came here, we took thought for a big walk in here because it's like a big walk, but the grass is really, really long. So I've yeah. got some investigation and taken for a walk in there. I think there's a river down there as well. And you want to let him jump in the river? No, 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 definitely not, definitely not. Right, the Burger King over there. Are you getting anything from here or? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah, they don't sell cake yeah. here. Although they probably they do, do sell, sell. Probably apple pie. Or uh, like look at me, already knows the yeah. menu. So. Freeze. What have you got there, Brooke? A Fanta slushie! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm supposed to get in Burger King. I Thor, you can't have any of that. Right. Oh, get away from the Fanta slushie! <laughs> Food time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it. So we've already decided as soon as we've had food we are going to go to the Euro Tunnel, which means that we're going to be probably a couple of hours early, but... Same as last time, what, the Euro Tunnel? <laughs> you know, he's, he's waiting for his he's burger. Waiting for a French fry. Yeah. So yeah, same as like last it's time great. we went in the Eurotunnel, you know, we just went well worked quite a bit early last time, so um but for a couple of hours I think you know they should let us on, but we'll let you know. What was that? I just said hello Miss Grady. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't really think about it. I drove in and the, the obviously the passenger bit is there but Dave's not got any passengers behind him, he's followed me in so anyway he's he's getting some help and assistance off someone right let's keep going 
we'll just wait here for Dave. There you go, Euro Tunnel, <laughs> Euro Tunnel. <laughs> so we're going in there, but like I said, Dave should have, well, he just followed us, but he should have been on the other bit because he's gonna have to climb over to speak to them. So well, we'll wait here for and him. Someone was doing it for him. Oh, someone giving yeah, him a hand. Yeah, someone came and helped him. Yeah. So we've been waiting for a couple of minutes. Oh, he's... What's that? Did you get on the early one at 1836? No, we're on at 20 past. We're on... No. No? How, how did you... you... I'm really confused. Right, let's get into the car park and find out why have you got an early one and we didn't. That's why you took so long. Right, so apparently when we went in there, Dave got himself a nice little upgrade to get on early. Maybe they'll give it as a pet reception. <laughs> you have to come in with us because we want an early ticket as well. Right, no worries. Ah. <laughs> no, you think we've never done this before? We've just been and asked somebody, and we didn't actually get a ticket. That's a pet thing, but they said they'll give us a ticket in here, although we should have got it at the terminal thing. So, right, come on, Thor. on the early train didn't even say anything we didn't mention it they just turned around and said do you want to go on the early train so yeah. oh yeah we need to go to the bathroom so let's just quickly go in here it's quiet in here isn't it well, that's why they're letting us all go early mm, really really <laughs> i thought it'd be busy but so we just got an inspection thing but they just like basically says you gas yeah, off yeah, and we're just with you okay and dave's just behind us now so Managed to squeeze Dave in and with us as well, so he's in the he's in the same bit. We're on the Euro Tunnel for go to France and Switzerland and Europe and yes. <laughs> it's chill time. some fuel and we don't really need any um but it's quite cold as well i think we might have to have heating on tonight so i'm not gonna lie i struggled doing that then it was tell the truth you had to give you instructions you gave me the instructions but I yes still i did but do you know what if you ever come to europe you know and you're worried about sort of like the complication of like like you know on the euro tunnel and things like that just take your time and stuff but you know you do they do do things slightly different here so want to pay for the fuel before we do anything we do in the uk eh? if you pay from the pump you do in the uk <laughs> eh, i don't do it like that i always go in the shop and pay mm -hmm. when the shop's closed but anyway i wonder if dave struggles he's figured it out yeah i think so think so i've just been uh, showing how easy it was when i did it so Yeah, must just be me then. <laughs> it's just you. It's just me, right? There we go. It seems very quiet everywhere, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. I just thought Saturday night, I thought it'd be busy. But... Is he sussed it? Is he sussed it? You got it? He's going. <laughs> He's going. So, we've arrived at our first air in France. Now, this air is a very 
busy one. It's not the most scenic type of air that we will be staying at over the next few weeks, but it's been a long day, a uh, lot of driving, and this is a, it's about 40 minutes. 40 minutes for Euro time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So this is a good stay over point if you, you know, obviously traveling from the UK and coming over here. What we're going to do now, we're just going to go for a quick walk around the town, um, Brooksfield and Thor and things, and chilling out for a little bit. It's not the warmest. I thought it would have been warmer. And Come to France, it'll be warm, he said. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, hopefully the weather will improve a little bit, but just look at the view that we've got over here. There is a castle out over here, so maybe have a quick nosy while we're here. After you, <laughs> after you. <laughs> oh, it's a bit eerie in here. Oh. All right, okay, so there's Barry's here. Now, like I said, we have been here before and we was able to walk through here. I can't read French, but apparently that's a police notice that says that we can't go in there or something. Okay, this is a quite nosy. Yeah, that's definitely not a castle there, but this is part of like the castle. Obviously you can see the things here. So yeah, for some reason we can't go in there. Anyone can read French? What did that sign say? Put it in the comments below. Go on Dave, after you. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't get through before, but we just, uh, just had a walk around and... Oh, yeah, yeah, go on, get in there. <laughs> get, get in there. there I'm not gonna lie, I just got a little bit frightened then. We're just coming through there and something moved, but I think it was just the wind blowing something. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. We, we had it though, it was cool, wasn't it? It was all good, oh, it was all ready. good. Yeah, we, we were ready, we were ready, flight so. Flight, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that did, uh, that did actually make me go, ooh, type of thing. Right. I think it's food time now for us, so what are you doing? Are you chilling for the evening now? Chilling, figuring out my internet. Yeah, he's, uh, he's paid for an internet service thing before you got here and it's not it's working. Not working. <laughs> All right. It's probably something simple, like a setting or something that you probably. need to press, but we'll keep you updated on that one. So, <laughs> so Brooke's watching a film, Thor's chilling out. Got the film on there and I'm just about to make some food. Now, this is something that we made uh, yesterday, so... Morning. Yes. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Welcome to France. And we're running late, but it's the first day here. We've had a lion and Always everything. Late. Yeah, so <laughs> but what we're gonna do right now, we're just gonna make some breakfast, so Morning, and today's issue that we've encountered that Dave has finally got sorted. Phones. Phones. <laughs> he actually went to, we won't mention the network, but he actually went to a shop before we came here to sort it all out, and they'd basically not done it, so you just had to sort it out, but it was a lot of messing about, and to do it, you had to get Wi-Fi because you couldn't access it, so you just had to go away, that's why he's packed in a different position. But anyway, Today? Do you know where we're even going today? I have no idea. I'm you have no idea? He's just following us. We did tell him where we're going and he was like, he likes the sound of it. So we're going to get on the road and we're going to... <laughs> Take two. <laughs> we're going to Leon. So let's get on the road. Morning. So Tom is trying to claim that he made breakfast, but I made the bacon and the sausage the day before when we left home. So technically, I made it. He just put it on some bread. I, I reheated the food, and but I made he the toast. reheated it, but I made it. So yeah. therefore, I cooked the breakfast. Did you enjoy your breakfast? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Uh, did you hear I that? He, he said I, yeah. No. Then he said yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So morning. We are currently driving. 
on our way to Lyon in France. We've just left the air that we stayed at last night, which was kind of just a stopover point, but it is actually really nice. So if you are in the area, it's a really nice air there. And, and it's not far from the Euro Tunnel. No, and obviously. it's only half an hour from the Euro Tunnel. It's free to stay there, and there is so much that you can see there. It's worth mentioning as well. Um, obviously, when you put the destination in, like when you go to all these different places, the sat nav is generally always going to take the quickest route. What we always do is we always choose the non toll routes. Um, yeah, sometimes it might add half an hour, an hour onto your journey, but you get to see sort of like places like this rather than just like sat on the motorway all the time. So, non tolls for us. So, it's about two and a half hours before we get to uh, the next place that we're staying at, Dave. No worries, I've done 8,000 steps already today. Well done, was that walking about trying to get an internet signal? Exactly. This is home for the night. And if you want to see what we're getting up to now, you're going to have to wait till next week's video. So guys, thanks for joining us on this part of the journey. Lots more to come. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Until the next one, Bye for now.